Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Um, today we're gonna start a, a s short series uh, called uh, Alitalia's uh, Virtual Russia Extreme Tour 2020. That's an actual uh, tour. Alitalia Virtual uh, uh, posts a lot of tours uh, during throughout the year and uh, they just recently uh, started uh, their new uh, one of their uh, newest tours uh, which is uh, Russia Extreme 2020 uh, this tour has uh, 20 legs uh, in total for uh, 14,000 miles uh, roughly uh, I have all the details on, uh, in the, on our uh, I have all the legs and everything detailed in our uh, stream here if you look at the, the, the details on the stream. Uh, so uh, my idea was to do a bunch of legs on, uh, uh, in one stream, but I changed my mind and uh, I'm gonna be doing one stream, uh, per one leg per stream, just to make it easier to separate everything too. So uh, anyways, this is leg one, leg number one. We're just starting today, uh, which is uh, Moscow, uh, the Madiedova International Airport. Uh, not to be uh, mistaken by Sheremetyevo uh, Airport, International Airport in Moscow too. Uh, and we're going to be going to Belgorod uh, Airport, which is a pretty uh, short flight, uh, only 310 miles. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I have, uh, I think, two or three airports, I, I would say two airports that there's no freeware or payware available. And uh, unfortunately, Belgara is one of them, so uh, we're not starting on. A <laughs> we're not having a good start. So on leg one, our destination will be a standard airport. But uh, stick to it. Uh, there's only, like I said, only one more uh, default uh, airport uh, in the whole uh, tour. So uh, it's not too bad. Uh, all the freeware and payware airports are actually pretty good. So uh, yeah. Unfortunately, not uh, not we're not gonna have a good start here. Uh, our first destination is a de default airport, but things will get better uh, after that after the first leg. Okay, so uh, let's get going. Uh, we are as usual online on Vatsim. I haven't flown the A320, the Airbus, for that matter, in uh, since our last flight on the weekend, last weekend. So and I've been flying a different aircraft. So. <laughs> I hope uh, <laughs> hope everything goes uh, as planned. Uh, one good thing is it's going to be a VOR approach on Belgorod, so uh, it will be nice to uh, to follow procedures for um, for um, non-precision approach, which is a little bit different than uh, precision approach on the Airbus. Anyways, let's get going so uh, this uh, <laughs> video doesn't take longer <laughs> than uh, needs to be, and I don't uh, bore you guys uh, too much. Uh, one uh, just one uh, small comment. Sing Sing Two Kit Pro. Uh, this is the beta, the, the alpha version of their Neo 0.6. So uh, the overlay there, we don't have a map uh, right now, and I'm having a few uh, problems to change the color on the on the overlay there. So we're just gonna leave the default uh, Sing Two Kit Pro uh, color there for now. We'll see. I'll I'll do some research. And I'll uh, I'll ask Dan, the developer, if uh, this is a known bug or if it hasn't been implemented yet. The option is there to change colors and everything. Uh, the map I know it's not available right now. Um, it, it it is gonna become available uh, later on, but I thought uh, we could change the colors. But anyways, just just a small comment. So if you see any issues with the overlay, it's. Uh, it just because it's an alpha version now of their new 0 0.6 uh, version. Okay, let's get going. Already talked uh, too much. Uh, yeah, let's go inside and let's get uh, let's get going. Uh, right now, there's a FSS online, so uh, it won't affect us until we are uh, past uh, fly level. Uh, uh, what is it for uh, for vaccine? Uh, 
think it's fly level 290 or something, but we'll figure out. But uh, until then, we'll, we'll we're by, by ourselves. Okay. FS2 crew, if I'm not mistaken, I already uh, have it set it up here. Yeah. Yeah, everything looks good. So let's start run the pre-flight and request our deboarding right away. Now. Nah. Let me just reset this position here. I thought I had uh Oh right on. No. We're good. I know uh yeah, let's just request the board. Okay. Oh man, yeah, <laughs> haven't done this <laughs> in a while. Okay, <laughs> so we start on data. Let's clear this. Just uh, make sure that we have, yeah, we have the brand new uh, from yesterday, uh, June uh, 18 database. So we're good to go. And we can initialize our flight. Flight is uh, three, two, one. Oh, there's one thing before we, uh, we request a flight. Just want to make sure that everything is there. Okay. Cost index for Alitalia is seven. If um, memory serves me serves me right, I'm gonna double check on flight plan, but I'm pretty sure it's seven. Yes, it is. Okay, flight level will be two nine or zero for our flight. So uh, DME Eagle. Yeah, that sounds about right. UKHH -H is our alternate HRK. So Ego HRK. Uh, cost index 7, fly low 290. Temperature at 290, minus 42. Let's uh, check with our, our information here. Yeah, I have 300 at minus 40. So that looks looks okay. And uh, plus 27 at Moscow right now. I have it 29. So that's close enough. So as a 3, 2, 1. Our crew. There you go, one hour flight. So yeah. And we have 6.4 6 on the blocks, uh, for a block, a uh, few. 110 uh, taxi. 26.31 uh, for the trip. Yeah. Uh, our departure will be 13.30. Uh, We should put 1335. Yeah, let's put 1335. And 56.4. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, yeah, that looks about right. And uh, let's uh, write down our first. Uh, Preliminary numbers there. Fifty six four ten. Sixty two seven hundred. And just checking here on my flight plan add that sounds about right. Sixty two six nine six we had it. Thirty one four and thirty point one. We're gonna accept. 
request uh, catering and also uh, yes and also uh, oops requests are uh, so we have 11 minutes so 117 13 17 for the body okay Fire test. Okay. Oh, already have uh, problems here. I don't know what he did. That wasn't on me. That wasn't on it. Okay, we're starting the APU again. I just want to make sure because uh, I don't want to forget, so. pages and just oh there you go he went back to APU there you go available so we're good now yeah don't know what happened Ground from cockpit. Go ahead. Confirm chocks in. Chocks are in. Roger. Okay. So we got uh, everything set up, boarding uh, and all that stuff. So let's take a look at our flight plan. Uh, like I said, there's just the FSS. So uh, we're going to be doing whatever uh, we want here. And we are before that. Let's get the weather information. Okay, so twelve thirty. Okay, I'm out for the walk around.
Yeah, so our uh, weather is, uh, we have thunderstorms, uh, CBs, uh, broken for 4,000 CBs, uh, rain, everything. Okay, so uh, I was uh, pl we were planning one four left, and uh, we're we're good. Winds are one one zero at two meters per second, so we'll be four knots. So we can hear a departure one four left, and if we need, we're gonna land on one four right. Departure will be delta kilo fourteen delta. Transition. Uh, Fox or Victor. And our destination, we should be using runway 11. Yeah, so as you can see, we have uh, Glosnas 11, which is a Russian uh, GPS uh, system, system. Our nav 11, but for for the sake of our flight, uh, our plan, uh, we're gonna use VOR 1 1 and approach is going to be. Oh, forgot to uh, write that down. Belgara the NDB. Oh, VOR. Just want to make sure that that's what I had on the flight plan. Yeah, I, I find it strange that he's actually asking uh, via because. Uh, Our, uh, our arrival yeah no that makes sense no it's just me okay so that should uh, look uh, right here Okay, so I'm uh, more concerned about the, the approach. It will be a DME arc. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So we're gonna hit the VOR and do, uh, have a DME arc here and then uh, go on final on the VOR for the VOR approach. Yeah. Okay, so we're good with that. Hi, I'm back. No issues on the walk around. We just have to wait for our numbers now, so we can uh, request a performance. And I'm pretty sure we are not forgetting anything else. Like I said, it's been a week, and I have another, to make things worse, I've been flying a different aircraft, so that doesn't help. That doesn't help, so... Okay. Our initial climb, we're gonna look, like I said, we're gonna look into uh, in our seed. be 3,500 so we can set uh, 3,500 
Hi, the security and safety checks are all done. Are you good to start boarding? Yes. Thanks. So we got that uh, set up too. Oh, there is uh, our uh, Okay, so we just have to wait for uh, for uh, some of our numbers. Oh, we got we can uh, calculate our fuel right now. So 1.8 to 6.3. Will be 4.5. Five six one uh, five six one one. got that taken care of it and we can uh, talk since we have to wait for uh, we can talk about our uh, departure so this is uh, where we are right now 14 so we are here we're gonna be taxing to runway uh, one four left. And this is our departure. Delta Kilo uh, one four Delta. Until Klatayev uh, NDB. And uh, from there, we're gonna go uh, VNF uh, NDB, so Foxtrot Victor 1 Delta, all the way to the NDB, and uh, proceed on course. Like I said, there's um, initial cl climb clearance here is uh, 3500, so we're just gonna set 3500 until we turn. Once we turn, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep climbing. It's not we won't be climbing too much. Uh, flat out 290. Uh, we're gonna s have a step uh, down to uh, 260 but uh, further uh, down uh, down our route uh, but uh, other than that uh, shouldn't have uh, much uh, problem so yeah so that's uh, that's that if we have to come back uh, this is uh, the LS14 right that we're gonna have a preset. A straightforward. Hopefully we won't have to use it. So that's that. Perfect timing, we got a company message here, which is uh, what we were waiting for. 49470. Oh wow. Take off 55760 big difference 27.99 okay let's use these numbers so 
so departure ooh, ooh. did it wind 110 f4 temperature 27 Q&H 1016 Runway 14 left Hopefully we'll get numbers for this 55.7 Can you say 55.8 And uh, 28 Hopefully we'll get numbers for this. Sweet. And then we can do our G frips and uh, finalize uh, finalize our preparation, cockpit preparation, and get it going. Fourteen minutes uh, to go. So it's a uh, good timing. Hopefully, we don't get any problems. Uh, we won't have any problems with uh, performance numbers. Like we did on our last flight. Beautiful. Okay, we're only one for left, dry, for now. X on, everything looks good. Up one, uh, 0 0.1. 28, 28, 29. Tora, 2370. Clean 191, 191, and flex 67. Okay. That this numbers right away. 128, 128, 129, flex 67. Okay. And we can, uh, yeah, let's do our diff rips uh, first. So data, we're gonna check IRS too, even though it's not a it's not a, the proper time to do it, but will save us uh, in the future. Okay, everything looks good. We already checked. Flight plan 350. Let's just double check here. We already checked on the on the display in our uh, navigation uh, in our ND. So uh, and the numbers uh, look good. Red nav. We're gonna put one for right numbers. So one one zero decimal one. India Delta Mike. One thirty five is the course. Okay.
plot 6.5 3.7, yeah, that looks good. We got a clean 205. Managed. 250, perfect. Program, okay, optimal 360. Check the box. Okay. Ground from cockpit. Go ahead. Oxygen test. Roger. Are you ready for the takeoff briefing? Are you ready for the takeoff briefing? Ready. Any questions? None. Four star checklist. Cockpit prep. Completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. Remove. Signs. On auto. ADS. Nav. Fuel quantity. 6360 kilograms. Takeoff data. Set. Barrow ref. QNH1016 set. QNH. One zero one six set electronic load sheet. Saint. Down to the line. Okay, so we're good to go. Got everything sorted out. I'm um, I'm looking at this people of Nukova and uh, Sheremetyev using runway uh, two six. Uh, I wonder if we uh, well we got that one at uh, twelve thirty. Let's uh, see if there's uh, something new here. That we don't know about it. Yes, there is. Sure Ground is, uh, from cockpit. Go ahead. Remove external power. Roger. Okay. Removing external power. Let's use runway three to right. gonna have to uh, change everything here and new uh, numbers too so external power removed Roger
so 300 at 7 meters per second 14 knots Turner showers uh, broke in uh, 3000 CB Twenty three ten Q and H ten sixteen. Okay. So uh, we're gonna have to change this. What we can do first is uh, request new uh, new performance numbers while we figure out uh, all the other stuff. It is not. It's not raining here yet, but I'm almost gonna put as a wet runway. I'm gonna just gonna write down something here now, real quick. So we're gonna be using runway three to right, and if we need. Three to your left, so that's gonna have to change to have to change our red nav and uh, and everything else. Okay, so uh, winds uh, three hundred at fourteen. Temperature twenty three. Q and H one zero one six. Runway now it's uh, three to right. Fifty five point eight twenty eight. Hey guys, all packs are on board. Are we clear to close? Thanks, we'll be a long taxi. Thanks. Okay, so let's figure out this flight plan now. So we're going to be using runway 3 to right and if we need we're going to land on 3 to left. Before I forget I w I'm just going to put a red nav information for this. 109.3 IDO. Course three one five. Done. Before we forget about this, we have a company message already, but we're gonna have to change this flight plan. So we're gonna be using runway uh, three two right. We could actually use uh, We can actually use runway 32 Yeah, no, it's okay. Let's do uh, uh, three to left. Okay, so it's gonna be a runaway three to right. No. Yeah, runaway three to right.
what we can do is just to make things uh, just to make things I, I just don't know if this uh, runway is new or not that's the thing there's another runway but I'm not too sure if it's new or not just to the right a runway 3 to right uh, but if it's new this airport's not new uh, we won't have it here so I don't want to run into that's why I've, I've been wanting to use uh, 3 to right just uh, to make sure that we actually have in our scenery so yeah let's stick with 3 to right Okay, and our new departure will be Delta Kilo 32 Delta. Transition will be the same, so that won't be a, a problem. Let's uh, just double check, see if this makes sense. Yeah, third, DK, and FE. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so that's uh, that. We're done with that. What we have now is. Uh, New uh, numbers for three two right wet. So up zero point one again. Hopefully you got the same. No, <laughs> we won't. So one one six one two nine one three zero. Tor twenty three seventy still. Clean 191 and flex 67. Okay, so 116, Okay, we're good now. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Okay. Request push back and start clearance. Ground. Good afternoon. It's Alitalia. Three, two, one. Okay. Clear to push and start. Alitalia. Three, two, one. Madrid of a traffic, Alitalia 321 A320, gate 14. We're gonna start a pushback and start procedures facing southeast. Alitalia 321 Damadiedova. Cabin crew arms, lights, and cross check. Grazie a tutti. 
Below the line. Windows and doors. Closed. Closed. Beacon. On. Thrust levers. Idle. Parking brake. On. Before start checklist complete. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Start engine two. Start engine one. After start checklist. Anti ice. Off. Ecam status. Checked. Pitch trim. Zero one for sync set. Right is clear. Rudder trim. Zero. After start checklist complete.
cabin secure for takeoff. Thank you. Request taxi clearance. Ground, Alitalia, 3, 2, 1, ready to taxi. Cleared to taxi, Alitalia, 3, 2, 1. Domadier of traffic, Alitalia, 3, 2, 1, 8, 3, 20, gate 1, 4. We're going to be taxiing to holding point uh, Bravo 8, runway 3, 2, right via taxi route hotel to Tango. Any traffic please advise Alitalia 321 Damadeva. Clear left side. Clear right side. Brake check. Pressure zero. Flight control check. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Sorry, uh, I saw your message, but I, I was I'm just struggling to catch up with the plane here. Uh, thank you, thank you for watching. I'm glad that you are enjoying. Oh, and you're gonna kill someone here. Oh, <laughs> that was a long trailer. Yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support. Before takeoff checklist. Flight controls. Checked. Checked. Flight instruments. Checked. Checked. Briefing. Confirmed. Flat setting. Config 1 plus F. Config 1 plus F. V1, VR, V2, flex temp. V1, 116. VR, 129. V2, 130. Flex temp, 67 degrees. V1, 116. VR. One two nine V two one three zero flex temp six seven degrees ATC set ECAM memo take off more blue down to the line
this looks a little bit different than what we have here but I have another diagram Yeah, it scared me for a second uh, because Mike is on the other side now, and I said, "Oh my, we're we're going the wrong to the wrong <laughs> runner, we're going to the wrong three two. But no, I guess they're calling Mike. They're probably calling Mike both sides now, just like we see some in a few Japanese airports. Okay, now we're, requesting radio check from pilots on the frequency. we're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure this out here because Yeah, the numbers as uh, expected, uh, they don't match anymore. So I hope we there's a way for us to uh, to turn. Uh, li oh yeah, there's a runway. Uh, Aeroflot six eight one requesting radio check from the pilots on the frequency. Aeroflot six eight one. Uh, this is Pavetta one five five. Ready five by five. Five by five. Thank you. Yeah, the there's gonna be a, a little bit of that on an, in this tour of having old airports, like old, old. Some are like 10 years old, the, 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 the scenery. And uh, we're gonna have to, to try to figure out especially on taxi and um, I'm more concerned to be honest with runways like I said see uh, I don't think there's a there's no more there's there's only one runway on this side so we we were we were right on choosing uh, runway 32 right and not the new that looked like new to me 32 right and 32 left uh, to me look like the older runways in a runway 32 only 32 to me look like it was a new runway I hope that's the case because if 32 right is the new one we're gonna be taking off runway 32 which is not a big deal because runway 32 is actually longer so if 32 right is the new one uh, and we're going to be using 3-2, uh, uh, we, we're going to be taking off from a longer uh, runway anyways. And it's the same departure, so won't be too much of an issue. But yeah, this is something that is going to happen, and we might have a, a few surprises during this tour, having much older airports than, uh, than the plates and the charts that we have. So hopefully that won't happen uh, especially in approach right oh and there we go we were we were right to choose a wet runway <laughs> so yeah uh, hopefully this won't happen uh, too often and uh, you won't uh, cause any problems for us on approach uh, no Out of road 681, taxiing to runway 25 left, stand by. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have ignition on for the takeoff because of the thunderstorms and everything. 
until we are we are clear of the weather then. Yeah, so it's saying three two right here, but this doesn't mean that the three two right that we have here is this one. It could be that the three two was the old three two right and uh, you know what I mean? But it doesn't matter. We're taking off. We put uh, we put numbers on the shortest runway, so we're good. The majority of the traffic, uh, Italia 321, A320, lining up from A32 right. We're gonna be flying the Glataieva 32 Delta uh, departure, initial climb at 3500. Alitalia 321, the majority Airport 6A1, taking off runway 25 left. Yeah, but that's not. That's not here. Approach path, clear of traffic. Below the line. Cabin crew, be seated for takeoff. Takeoff runway. 3 2 right confirmed. 3 2 right confirmed. Cabin crew. Advised. TCAS. TA. Engine mode selector. Ignition. Packs. On. Before takeoff checklist complete. Ready? AFA. Airport 6 one airborne. Take off. Thrust set. Check. Main flex 6-7. SRS Nav 100 knots Auto thrust V1 Checked Rotate Positive climb Gear up Gear up The majority of the traffic at Italia 321, airborne 32 right. Flaps zero. Speed checked. Flaps zero. After takeoff climb checklist. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Retracted. Packs. On. Down to the line. Okay. So like uh like we we said we're gonna turn and once we, we we're done with our circuit here with our uh upwind once we reach uh downwind 
we won't be laning again but once we reach uh, downwind we'll we'll resume our climb all the way to flat level 290 And of course we're gonna fly right through the <laughs> right through the storm. Actually no what are we gonna do here? Let's see, we might have to change our heading a little bit. We'll see. Yeah, the worst part is uh, there. Let's see if we can uh, shoot in this gap here. So let's just maintain this heading for now. And let's start climb. Let's start our climb. This doesn't look too good either, but that hook there, set standard. Standard, cross-checked, passing flight level 050. Now. Check, below the line. Barrow ref. Standard set. Standard set, after takeoff climb checklist complete. Yeah, we're just gonna maintain this heading and then uh, resume our our navigation once we're past this uh, the worst of it here. We're gonna maintain it. We're gonna keep uh, the engine uh, the ignition on the engine ignition mode. I should have said, and then we might be able to go uh, to uh, Glataev uh, NDB once we are past uh, all this and we're gonna have another s there's another system up ahead here so uh, yeah we're gonna be dodging this probably gonna go on a heading and go in between the two here these two cells and uh, this one is this TCU here is just ridiculous this thing looks massive So let's turn Let's try, let's shoot for that gap there Because this thing is massive We can even see the, the top uh, from the cockpit here, so 
Yeah, the plane's shaking. So yeah, let's keep climbing and, uh, and flying around all the stuff here. Confirm seat belts off. Confirm. Confirm. I'm setting the seat belts back on. Confirm clear rad nav. For obvious uh, reasons. Please return to your seat and fasten your seat belts. For your comfort and safety, our beverages will not be served. Confirm. Please do not use the toilets until the captain switches off the seat belts. Confirm, copy, active, to secondary. Confirm. Cruise flight level is as shown. Optimum flight level is as shown. Recommended max flight level is as shown. Are you happy with our current selected flight level? Yes. Okay. Confirm direct Foxtar Victor. Confirm. Okay, we're clear. Sad, uh. Yeah, this should be good now. Okay, <laughs> that was nice. I'm glad that we uh, chose to uh, go around, especially having uh, special, especially having real turb uh, installed. You definitely don't want to fly through. Uh, thunderstorms and uh, big systems because uh, it's going to bring this plane down. That's one of the nice things about uh, MA's uh, real turb. It's how it reads uh, the weather and, uh, and uh, gives an amazing uh, way more uh, realistic experience regarding uh, mechanical turbulence and uh, down and updrafts on storms and yeah you don't wanna you don't wanna play around that kind of stuff having a real turb uh, installed now we're good hopefully the weather at uh, at uh, Belgara uh, is uh, better Okay. We're on.
on our way. It's a quick journey. Uh, we're gonna be getting. Uh, oh, actually, we can get it uh, right away. Uh, we're expected to to arrive at fifteen zero five. So let's get the weather now. Unless they have a weather and have uh, at every uh, at uh, fourteen uh, thirty, which I don't think. But can have an idea now what's going on. Already got surprised by a wind shift at. Uh, here at uh, Moscow, we're expecting winds of 070, and that's what we have s right now. So, weather from uh, 1400 Zulu, so 10 minutes, 13 minutes ago, 070 at 7 meters per second, so 14 knots. Cavalcade. 29, So we can start uh, putting some numbers here. So it's going to be a non precision approach. Final approach uh, fix intercept is uh, 2380. So we're going to call 24. Uh, actually, we have a chance to put the exact number here so yeah it, it, it will take uh, 2380 so. and the minimum will be 1100 non-precision approach so uh, non-precision approach we have a higher minimums okay so that's what we need 1000 to go check Cruising flight level two nine zero check. Check. Okay, uh, we're gonna step down uh, once we reach our next waypoint which is uh, Muravlianka VOR. We're going to be going down to uh, fly level 260. So everything looks good for our VOR uh, runway 11, weather-wise. We can talk about it real quick now. It's a good time to do it. This is our uh, arrival. We're gonna be uh, arriving for Aniki. Hit the VOR. Fly uh, 254 outbound. DME arc initial approach fix is uh, this guy here. DME arc. To the VOR. Here's our uh, profile for the VOR. Glide path angle is uh, 270. We're going to need this information because. Uh, 
for being a non-precision approach, we're going to be using a track and a FPA, a fly path uh, angle. So we're going to be setting that angle 270 once we hit the final approach fix. So there won't be any uh, vertical speed number, will be a fly path uh, angle that we're going to be adding. Which in theory, nah, it's, all, it's all the same. Even though it's just that it's nice that you have an actual official number that we can set there. And he should be down on a glide path uh, properly if we set and activate at the proper time. We don't want to be too early or too late or else we're going to end up flying too low or too high. And uh, as you can see, the MDA is uh, pretty high. And uh, if we need, we're going to have to... Uh, we're gonna have to go uh, fly the missed approach. Hopefully, you won't have to. A missed approach is climb on a heading of 109 to 2710, so we'll do 28 or above, then turn left back to the VOR. So, this is the our final our missed approach uh, plan here. So, yeah, we're gonna be a VOR, so a non precision uh, approach. And uh, we'll, there's a few steps that we have to take when we are flying, uh, when you're shooting a no precision approach. Nothing to, uh, nothing uh, too, uh, too complicated, but it's nice to, to change a little bit. What we can do is, he might complain but we can uh, set the weather for our destination uh, before we reach uh, the VOR because we're gonna have to do the same. Uh, Q and H there is 1011. Temperature 29. Wind 07014. Transition a uh, transition level at uh, three thousand. I thought I saw five thousand. It's uh, three. It is uh, three. And our ABDA is eleven hundred. So that's that. So we're just about to reach our VOR and we're going to be descending to 260. Change of heading. Uh, magnetic uh, track will be... Oh, actually, no, it's not. I, I He's asking us to, to, yeah, it's one of those that go up and down, up and down. We're just going to stay. Terba Buni uh, NDB looks like it. Uh, we're going to switch there and just descend. Uh, and descend to 260. Because uh, the magnetic uh, heading, uh, magnetic track is still... Uh, I just want to double check once we reach. The flight plan is saying magnetic track of 155 and uh, 174, 175. So uh, we should still be flying at this altitude. And uh, just after the NDB, our next uh, waypoint then of course we're gonna be on a magnetic track of one nine or seven so then we want to change to two six zero and that of course is uh
we are considering the RVSM as a in effect here, which should be, I'm pretty sure. Now we have that um, FSS, uh, he's still online, I'm not too sure. It's uh, Caucasus, uh, yeah, he's taking care of Rastav Nadanu, Baku, Yerevan. I'm not too sure if he's, um, and I'm not too sure of his altitude either. I know he's taking care of uh, stuff and I don't know, but I don't know how, how, how further north he, uh, from, uh, from Krasnodar and Rastav and all that, 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 that region he will go. I'm not familiar with, uh, with this FSS here. Let's see what uh let's see if I can find uh this out here. Give me one second here. I'm trying to figure out if this is gonna affect us or, or not. We are far, but I'm not too sure if. Uh, yeah, we'll be. Is it? I don't think so. I don't think so, actually, because if he's uh, Rostov, if he's uh, just north of Rostov na Donu, yeah, we will be no, not even close. Judging by the airports that he's uh, he listed, or the regions, I should say. Yeah, he's covering uh, Rostov, FIR, Uba, FIR, uh, Baku, Yerevan, uh, FIR. Yeah, no, some of this I. Um, Yerevan, I'm not even not too sure where it is, which I FIR is that, but they, they are all south of Rostov because uh, he put it in order from north to, to south. So, yeah, no, we should be we are we're far, so yeah, we'll, we won't have to talk to him. Hopefully, uh, Moscow FIR will uh, come up online and he will take care of us. So since we have to go down to 260, yeah, no, let's let's follow the plan. We'll go down uh, after we cross the, the NDB. And I know it's close to top of the Saint, but we'll, uh, I was going to wait till top of the Saint, but might as well do it properly. It's just gonna suck because uh, FS2 crew and everything will uh, 
think that uh, we are uh, designing for uh, for Lenny and uh, not that we're not gonna be leveling uh, off at two six zero. I'm, uh, I have a few seconds here, I'm taking a look at the, the overlay, I can see that the flight phase there is not working, either. Actually, there's no logo for Sintuki Pro. Uh, I'm gonna report all that. Actually, I, but first I'm gonna make sure that this is not a known issue. And the bar, the flight, pl the flight, uh, the bar, The progress bar is not working. Yeah. So. And I don't think transparency is working either. Other than that, everything else, speed looks good, altitude, our, he got our call sign, network, the flight uh, to from, arrival, and, uh, departure and arrival. Oh, and the airframe is not showing either. Yeah, airframe is not showing. Call sign, ground speed. Oh yeah, this is supposed to be ground speed. Ground speed is showing indicated. Yeah. So, ground speed shows indicated. Let's see if we activate indicator. And deactivate ground speed. Okay, indicator doesn't work. Okay. Registration works. True air speed doesn't work. We don't use the software. Vertical speed works and heading works. Okay. Okay. Let's get back to our flight and we are almost there. So, well, we're close to the top of the saint, at least. 69 miles now and uh, 33 minutes for our arrival I'd like to remind you that this is going to be a default airport <laughs> uh, it's okay it's the only one well actually I have the list here yeah there's only two 
this is the one of them. There's only two standard, two default uh, airports. So there's only one more <laughs> for the whole uh, tour. So not bad. And it will be leg 14. Arriving on leg 14, departing on leg 15. So, for, of course, for leg 2, the next one, I uh, will be departing uh, this uh, default airport too. So, we're going to go on a tour uh, through Russia. Next flight resumes from uh, from uh, the, the the arrival, uh, the destination on the flight, the leg before. Everything looks good. We're not even going to do the, the fuel calculations and everything because I know we have lots of fuel. It's a short flight too. We can set terrain, uh, terrain on the ND now. The weather should be good there. It's always good to have uh, terrain, especially on a unfamiliar area. Uh, going south, especially going south in Russia. I don't know uh, the topography where we are going, but it gets uh, it gets really bad if, if we can call it bad. Uh, the further south you go, especially in this uh, area here. I don't think this is south enough to, uh, to, to, to get to the mountains, but we will be on our next flight. Next flight will be a special one. We're going to be going to a beautiful region. So how far are we from top of the sand? I might just stick at 290, to be honest. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to 60. And we will... We'll go from there. Are you ready for the approach briefing? Ready. Any questions? I'm good. We should be doing that on top of the same, but just in case the FS2 crew gets all screwed up because we're descending close to the top of the same. Okay, everything's good. We could set a new uh, cruise fly level to six zero. I don't know. We'll just go down, and I will see if we are close. I'll let him manage uh, to six zero. Manage. We'll go. Yeah, see, he's gonna do a descent all the way to... Yeah, 
Yeah. Which is okay too. It doesn't matter. As long as we're going down. Yeah, and the A cars too interpreted that as a uh, top of the descent. So, might as well just leave it managed, then uh, he will manage. We just want to make sure that he will actually bring us down to what we need. Which is. Uh, between fly level, uh, if we look at our arrival again, which is between fly level 200 and fly level 50, we can check if there's uh, any. What's the plan here? So he's planning on being a fly level 19 or 6 at Anigi. So should be enough because we have 30 miles, 31 miles. To lose uh, a once uh, 2800. Roughly eighteen mile, uh, eighteen thousand in forty five, forty six, fifty something miles. Yeah, more than enough. It's a lot. It's a long way going down. So yeah, we could hold a uh, 260 for now here or and wait until uh, the FMS uh, catches up and uh, we follow the, the profile that he has uh, set it up. Or we can keep going down. According to, uh, to the FMS, this is the point that we're going to be uh, matching the, the profile, the managed mode. So we can uh, we can actually wait and see if that's gonna work or not. And uh, we will want, we can put our final altitude. Which is, uh, we're going to be, it's 2710. So we'll, realistically, we will do, uh, we could do a 27, uh, 28. So we can set up right away.
a few clouds, but it looks okay. Belgrade traffic, Calitalia 321, A320, uh, about 80 miles northeast, not correction, northwest of the field, inbound for Laney. We're going to be uh, flying the Anigia 5 Mike arrival for the VOR runway 11. We are right now uh, leaving fly level 240 to uh, 2800. Our estimated time is one uh, six uh, minutes. Any traffic, uh, please advise Alitalia three two one, Bill Goddard. It will be funny in real life. Or the <laughs> the locals there to sell Italia, Lenny and arriving in Lenny in this airport. So uh, yeah, so since this is of course not a scheduled uh, Ad Italia flight, we won't be getting on any one of these flights. We won't be getting uh, stands, gates, or uh, information. So we're just gonna pick whatever we want for all these flights. Oh, and we have traffic. That's actually, <laughs> I'm actually surprised. He, oh, uh, yeah, not, not really. He's coming from uh, the stuff, I don't know. He's coming from the Caucasus uh, uh, region there. So there's some busy airports there. Sochi is one of them. So international airport there. So he's probably coming from uh, from there. Is definitely not coming from where we're <laughs> where we're going right now. <laughs> so we have a seventy six miles prediction to uh, two thousand eight hundred. So we're gonna bring this uh, down a little bit. Oh, we're gonna catch up now. Let me just do this here. We're gonna we're gonna catch up. That's the magenta ball here, the circle. This is the vertical uh, VNAV profile on a managed mode, so we catched up. That's why our uh, rate of descent uh, increased. We were doing a thousand. Usually, when you are b you are going up, you are ahead of the the managed mode. He holds you at a one thousand. So yeah, so now we are following whatever uh, calculations the the 
FMS uh, did. Oh, I cannot click through it. I did not know that. So we Cabin crew, prepare to... for arrival. So being a non-precision approach, uh, we're going to be uh, bringing the flaps uh, down uh, on a, in a later stage that we have more closer to what we do on, on busy, uh, heavy traffic airports. It won't be uh, like extremely late, but we have been uh, we have been uh, bringing flaps one. Uh, sooner it helps us to uh, control our speed but uh, in this case we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be on final when we bring flaps up one when we call for flaps one so our new prediction to 2860 miles uh, we have 30.7 plus 14.8 uh, so let's call 31 and 15. So 40, 45. Oh, 46, 31, I said. I was looking at the number 30. 46. To hit the VOR in another 12. So 58. That's exactly what he, th he has there. 58. So at the beginning of the DME arc, we're going to be at 2,800. Right at the beginning of the arc. Which is uh, great for us. It's a really short arc but we should be okay we are got at uh, traffic Alitalia 321 A320 just uh, over just past Anigi Anigi 5 Mike arrival leaving flight level 1632 to 2800 alitalia 321 belgarad the, the, the people here on that same thing that we are crazy so what are you doing on an alitalia here <laughs> anyways it's raining i don't think it's raining there but it was raining <laughs> here Oh, it's already. Yeah, it's not. Probably not raining there. But if it is, it's not too much of a of an issue. The runway is eight thousand uh, two hundred uh, feet long. More than enough to accommodate our A320. We have a city up ahead there, which is probably Belgara. We're not going to um, respect any uh, 250 knots below 10,000. There's no one here. We're just gonna get going. So we have 23 uh, miles till uh, the VR. And we have another 12 for the beginning of the DME arc. So, uh, yeah, 35, and we have 42 now, 41, yeah, we're, we're okay, even if we're past a little bit,
we're gonna go down to 2400 as soon as possible if we look at our approach here once we are the DME arc at 23 uh, at 28 once we hit uh, DME 13.5 our initial approach fix or intermediate fix uh, we want to go down as soon as possible and level off at 2400 to give us time to set up everything and uh, hit our final approach fix and set up our 2.7 uh, degrees uh, path. We're gonna call to once we hit the VOR. We're gonna call outbound for the DME arc. Or we can call uh, inbound now. We've got uh, uh, traffic Alitalia 321, A320, uh, 10 miles north uh, west, correction, north east of uh, Belgara, the VOR, inbound for the VOR runway 11 full procedure, leaving uh, fly level 100 to 2800. Any traffic, please advise Alitalia 321, Belgara. There you go, now we don't have to worry about it anymore. Other than set up everything properly for the approach. We're going to be turning the autopilot off uh, uh, once we reach our MDA, too. So we're going to keep the autopilot off. Okay, so the airport, we should be uh, overflying the airport right, right now. We've got a traffic Alitalia 321, A320 over the, over the VOR, uh, inbound for landing on VOR, runway 11 full procedure. Alitalia 321, Belgarad. So we are outbound now, still descending, it's slowing uh, down, so what we're going to do is, I don't want to be exactly there at 2800, I want to give a little bit of time, so we're going gonna to come down at 16, to give us time. We're still expecting uh, 250, sh probably it's not 250 here <laughs> anymore, we should be uh, a little bit slower, but
So from 2800, we're gonna go down to 2400. And before the final approach fix, we're gonna have flaps one. So once we uh, turn to final, we're gonna um, we're gonna activate our track uh, uh, flight path uh, angle. QNH one zero one one set. QNH one zero one one set. Passing three thousand now. Check. Approach checklist. Briefing confirmed. ECAM status checked. Seat belts on. Barrow ref. QNH one zero one one set. QNH one zero one one set minimum. One one zero zero feet set. One one zero zero feet set engine mode selector. Normal. Approach checklist complete. Flaps one. Speed checked. Flaps one. Well, we have the runner in sight, okay.
I don't like that. Passing final approach fix. Two, three, eight, zero feet. Flaps two. Flaps two. Check speed. Sync rate. Flaps two. Check speed. One thousand. Gear down. Gear down. Checklist. Cabin crew. Advise. Auto thrust. Speed. Auto brake. 100 Medium. above. Ecam memo. Lane in Oblo. Landing checklist Minimum. complete. Minimum. Minimum. Lane. Checked. 200. Sink rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. 50. Spoilers. Reverse green. D cell. Seventy knots. Check. I don't know what happened with the speed, I didn't want to overshoot. Uh, oh yeah, there's a turn around. We've got a traffic Alitalia 3 to 1 backtracking runway 1 1. Alitalia 3 to 1, go about it. Approaching 2 
to make things worse, Navigraph is a uh, crash here, so I cannot open it. <laughs> Yeah, completely crashed. I cannot switch uh, charts, plates. I have whatever I had it open la uh, last. That's what it's open now. So, that's why I didn't advocate it running. I wasn't sure if that one is linked to this one. Not that it matters, it's just gonna park. I don't even know these numbers now. Nine so, meters for uh, parking. We've got a traffic, Alitalia 321, exit uh, runway 11 at uh, exit number 2. Alitalia 321, Belgorod. After lane checklist. Flaps. Retracted. Spoilers. Disarmed. APU. Start. Radar. Off. Predictive wind shear system. Off. After landing checklist complete. So yeah, let's request follow me because I have no idea where where, where 14 is. Yeah, I had to backtrack because I didn't know which exit to take because I can't open the can open the charts, so I wasn't sure if that first exit was connected to the main apron and terminal so that was the reason why so we'll just use the follow me Uh, let's see if this thing works. If it's not gonna send us through the grass or, or nothing. Yeah, this is uh, this default. I haven't flown to a default airport in uh, years. At least 15 years, I should say. On a uh, flight simulator or prepare or... Like easily 15 years is just horrible. <laughs> like there's no excitement at all. Of being at the airport. This is just horrible. <laughs> Yeah. 
and they have signs and uh, text and textures and that like better because of Rex. So we have for the default uh, airport here we have a uh, the the asphalt and the and the signs are a little bit better, but still, oh my God, this is hard to to look at. Okay, so we turn here, I guess. Oh, it's on the next one. Oh, no, it's right, yeah, it's right there. Yeah. So, terrible timing to not have the diagram, be especially on the default airport, because it has doesn't have the gates or stain numbers printed on a on the ground so I have no idea the direction or nothing for this okay got it now this building is uh, the generic building uh, it's actually the texture is not that bad actually I'm surprised that was going to be worse than that Cabin crew designs lights and cross check. Cabin crew designs lights and cross check. Cabin crew on Dawson Park. Parking checklist. APU bleed. On. Engines. Off. Seat belts. Off. Exterior lights. Nav logo on. Fuel pumps. Off. Parking brake and chocks. Off. Any. Parking checklist complete. Yeah, so there you have it. Yeah, sorry about the landing. I, I don't know what happened. I I think I pressed. I don't even remember. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was a leg one. Sorry for the non-exciting uh, destination. Uh, things are going to get better. I promise. Uh, next flight will be uh, a little bit longer and it will be uh, we're gonna be 
uh, coming, uh, leaving uh, Belgara here and going to Sochi. So Sochi will be nice. Beautiful airport, beautiful region. It is a freeware, but it's a nice airport. Um, yeah, beautiful view, scenery, and it's going to be nice. 140 miles more, uh, longer than this flight. And, uh, but it's going to be nice. It's going to be really nice. So I'll, uh, you can look forward to, uh, to leg number two. It's going to be uh, better than this one. Leaving Moscow w was nice. The weather was nice. It was nice having to go around uh, dodging uh, the weather there and everything. But this approach here and everything is just... <laughs> Here it, it is really not that exciting. I did my best to make it look a little bit better. But, oh, there you go. We can sing this. I was just waiting for this. There is a, a view of the amazing terminal. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it's there. It's done. Uh, I'm actually glad it was the first one was the bad one, because then we can enjoy the rest. Well, like I said, there's uh, still one more to go. <laughs> One bad one, but it's uh, further down the tour. Hopefully, uh, someone will make <laughs> freeware or uh, payware by the time we get there. Let's just hope. Uh, but yeah, there you go. There you have it. First leg of our uh, Russia Extreme Tour has been completed. I hope you uh, you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, for spending time uh, watching. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, any uh, concerns, any comments, anything, complaints, uh, please uh, leave uh, leave a message in the comment section. I'll be more more than uh, happy to read and uh, reply and uh, address the, the the issues if possible. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy uh, the rest of your day. And you have a good uh, week or weekend, depending on what time you, uh, or when you're watching this video. Thank you so much, and i see you guys on the next, uh, next leg or next flight. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.